Okay, today I want to talk to you a little bit about what multisensory instruction is and what it is not, because there are some misconceptions about multisensory. So first of all, I think that the visual piece, um, incorporating the visual piece is kind of a no-brainer. You, you look at words and, and uh, letters with your eyes, so you see. And the, the auditory piece, that's not really uh, difficult either, because it, as you talk, you are actually hearing either the phoneme or the syllable or the morpheme, whatever it is, whatever level of language you're working with. But the part that I find that people really have the most difficulty with is that tactile and kinesthetic. So let's talk a little bit about kinesthetic. What does kinesthetic mean? Movement. Movement, exactly. Now, would you concur that this is movement? Yes. Okay, does it have anything to do with a phony? No. Does it have anything to do with a syllable type? No. How about a, morpho a morphological piece? No. No, nothing. Okay, what does tactile mean? Touch. Touch, okay. I'm touching this table. Does this have anything to do with a phony? No. How about a morphine? No. no. How about a syllable type? No. Okay, so people have this idea, and even educators have this idea, that I'm doing multisensory instruction in my classroom because the children are getting up and they're moving around the room. They're moving their muscles, but those muscle movements that they're moving have nothing to do with a phoneme, a syllable type, or a morpheme. So when, when we talk about kinesthetic, we want to be very specific to those linguistic units of speech in our language. So for kinesthetic, if I go what is the kinesthetic movement? My mouth. My mouth. What is the tactile if I go do my do my lips touch? Sure they do. That's the tactile we're looking for in kinesthetic and, and tactile instruction. So that, that tactile piece, if I say po in the word polite, is there a tactile movement of my mouth when I say po? Sure. If I'm looking at the unit of speech, the stable syllable shun, is there a kinesthetic movement of my mouth when I say shun. Is there a tactile feeling in my mouth when I go shun? Yes, yeah, so that's what we want to capitalize on, is that kinesthetic movement and that tactile movement of the mouth, of the articulators. And then also as we engage the student as they write, then we're engaging the motor movement of the hand for those linguistic units and also um, if we have them traced on the tabletop, then we're engaging that tactile. So when we talk about multi-sensory multi instruction, we want all those multiple pathways engaged simultaneously at the same time. Not that we do a visual activity in the morning and we're going to do an auditory activity in the afternoon and then we're going to do some kinesthetic thing. We want all of those pathways engaged simultaneously. So if the student is saying um, they're engaging the mouth, we could have them trace it on the table. Is that visual if we have them trace it? If we have them repeat the sound and go are we engaging the kinesthetic movement of the mouth yes. and the hand so we've got visual, auditory, kinesthetic, and tactile all at the same time. 